What's up? What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to go through these battle training grounds. The cool thing about this is, number one, it is a lot of free resources. It is 1,000 crystals, it is 2 million mana, and it is 20 mystical scrolls. I did this on my alt. I did this on the Yerp Surfer alt, and every single one of the three stars. Is everyone else getting three stars, too, or is it just happens to be that I just got three stars. Anyway, uh, that's one of the cool things. The second cool thing about this is it is so easy. Some of these are just very easy by itself. Some of these are a little bit more challenging. However, the challenging ones, there's already an outline done. It's been passed around online that there is an outline of which units you attack in which order uh, and which skills you use in which order to complete every single one of these three stars. It's super easy. So let's uh, get it started with the first one. We're going to go all through uh, 1 through 20. We're going to try to do this in a timely fashion. So let's get it started. Battle number one. Fun fact, I was one turn away the first time I beat this. So the thing is, you got to sleep Julie first because she's going to get a first. She's going to get a turn first, right? You can angle shot onto Hanem. Gives him the stun. Now you can uh, already, you can kill the Hanem or you can kill the Julie. This is enough damage to kill the Julie. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kill Julie here. He's got enough damage. He's the squishiest one. He's got enough damage to kill Julie. We're going to slash wind on this. Decrease attack age. Uh, we'll do a little bit of fluff damage on here. We'll do a one-shot kill on here. We'll do a defense break for two turns on here. Then we will do a... I think we can just do one of these. Do uh, one of these. And one of these should kill him. Correct. Correct. There we go. Match number two. This one's fairly straightforward. One of the things that I want to mention, actually, is if we take a look at the names for these different matches. Supply block. This gives you kind of a hint as to how you should be playing the battle. And some of these battles have actually different ways you can complete them. There's not necessarily only just one way to beat it. Uh, but the supply block, this is his third skill. So you want to make sure he never gets this supply off, his, uh, his third skill supply uh, actually off. So... Just FYI. But there's a few different... Like, this is one of the ones that there's a few different ways to actually beat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, attack power buff. Uh, Shannon, you can have... Sh this is another thing. You can... Some of these units can die. And that's not necessarily going to help you or hinder you, right? Um, as long as you beat the battle, if some of them dies, if you beat the battle with one thing, that's actually not too much of a problem. Let's do a slow. But you don't actually have to do it. You could let her die right there. So let's do uh, sleep on you. Let's kill you. Uh, he can die from the dot. We'll do one of you. We'll do some damage to you. We'll do some glancing on you. And I think you have to beat this in 14 turns, something like that. Is that how many turns? Let's do a defense break on you. Let's do a slow, uh, oh, never mind. And let's do one. That's actually not going to be enough turns. Yes, it is going to be enough turns. Okay, there's actually a way to, to, to beat it faster and to just let Shannon die. But I guess that one's, that one's fine for now. But you can let Shannon die and beat it faster a different way. Match three. This one is using the combination of Ermeta which takes 50% damage from the uh, fire units. And Chandra, who's going to hug Ermeta. First, got to hug Ermeta, because Ermeta's lonely. And then you got to do this uh, AoE, right? Do as much damage as you can. Uh, and then you're going to attack power buff over here. This way, you get the maximum amount of free hits from... Well, not if you do that. You're not. But uh, you get the maximum amount of free hits that are going to hopefully crit more... Also, it's RNG is involved in here, too, which is kind of kind of sucks. RNG is involved in here, so sometimes you crit when you want to, and you don't crit when you don't want to, whatever. So, we actually, we're going to be fine here. We beat it in 10 turns, so we have three stars. Match number four. This one, all you have to do is CC and do a lot of continuous damage here. Again, I think this is one of those ones that you can beat this in multiple different ways. We're going to try to CC. Also, their RNG is involved. So if you don't get all the RNG on some of these, you may just have to... You, you may have done it right, but you may just have to try it again to make sure that you get all the RNG, right? So we're going to do one of these so that everyone gets their uh, cooldowns again. And then we're going to do... I think what we're going to do is mobilize. 
And then we're going to do, we have to do this one. We have to CC this, otherwise he's going to take all those dots off. I think this is a trick, and you don't want to actually use this turbulence, if I recall correctly. Let's do uh, one of these, a little extra continuous damage. They're going to do some damage there. Let's do one of, he's going to move next, so let's provoke him. Uh, let's CC him. We actually don't want to do any of these, because we want to make sure they have full attack gauges, right? Let's do a defense break on you, I guess. And then we do another one of these. He's going to take some damage, which is fine. Uh, and then we'll do another AoE freeze. And then this should be, I believe this should still be. I don't think we really need, even need to do anything that this goes through. I don't want any, anything to die, right? There we go. Is this going to be, yep, three stars. Very nice. I'm going to be brutally honest, I did not three-star this one on my alt, so this is going to be the first time we three-star this one. I'm not sure what exactly I did wrong. I think I two-starred this, right? So we're going to do exactly what it says in the Shikan second skill to Kabezinuf. We're going to do exactly what it says in... The, that's what I started off with, right? I think it was just like one turn off when I did mine uh, on the Europe server account. Right, so we got one of these, and we got one of these, and we're going to go to skill two to Grogan. We can Scroggin. We'll do skill three. Then we do illusion. Then we go on to Tion. Because he's already uh, cooled down. That's why we're going to do that onto Tion. I think that's why I did it wrong. The, I think that's where I did it wrong the first time. I believe that's where I did it wrong the first time. Then we're going to do one of these, uh, AoE. And then we're going to do one of these. And then we're going to do one of these. And then we are going to do one of these. And I think that should do it for three stars. Yeah, I did something in, I, I did something in a different order. Basically that same thing, but something in a different order when I did it on my Europe server. And I was like, why did I not get that? It was like 13 turns. I was like, ah, 13 turns. Battle number six. This one, I was doing Nisha third skill all the time, right? We're going to go just by the, the guide that has been out. Uh, which says to actually do the first skill, not the third skill, the first skill. So that's what it says to do over there for that guide. I think this also says to Chakram Crush, I believe, Chakram Crush onto the, yeah, onto the Shannon, right? So that is what that says. And then we have Nisha third skill now. See, I was doing this way too early and I was not getting all three stars because I was doing that. I was doing that as soon as she got her first turn, I was doing... Uh, that. So then we gotta go for this arena, do all the damage to... We don't quite kill the arena, but we're gonna kill the arena with, I think, the Megan, if I recall correctly. Right? Uh, and then we have the... Camus. And then we have this one, kills her. And then we have this one, just does skill one. And then we have this one, skill two. And that should finish it off right there for three stars. So this one is super easy. All you're doing is making sure this Mina is just going to keep hitting this girl in the middle. This, uh, I forget what her name is. Then we've got, uh, these two are going to hit with, uh, actually let's slow him down. Uh, we don't want to use that skill two from the Hua just yet. Let's do one of these, decrease attack gauge, uh, and defense break. Let's see, can we kill over there? Let's do one of those. Uh, those dots are not quite going to kill. We do need to do one of these. Uh, we will do... Mina's going to be able to finish off this Ramagos, so we're just going to hit with that. Uh, and then Mina is going to, yeah, finish this off. And then we'll be able to finish that off over there. And that should be three stars. Very nice. Level eight. This one is another pretty easy, pretty straightforward uh, one if you know what everything does. Camulus has super high base speed. He's also going to buff himself up so he doesn't take um so he can't die right so we have to disarm him to prevent him from getting his uh beneficial effects and we basically almost kill him right there then we're going to increase the triana right because triana is going to block all the cooldowns and everything uh then we're going to do one of these and we already kill one of them now we're going to soul crush i actually forget what i'm supposed to specifically do here we're going to soul crush the moth though i'm going to just wing it and we're going to see, right? So he doesn't come back because he can't revive. 
And then we're gonna do one of these to Trion. I made this mistake the first time, actually. Made that mistake the first time. So we have, let's do a, let's do this one. I think that was gonna do some more damage though. I don't know if that was actually the correct one. We'll do one of these and we'll do one of these. And I think that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, cool. This one, I'm not even gonna pretend that I knew how to do this one. I was completely, I did it. And I was like, whoa, I think I did it in like 25 turns. I'm like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this in 16 turns. So we are going to cheat so hard on this. I'm just gonna look directly at the sheet that's been going around. We're gonna so hard, so hard cheat. I'm just gonna be brutally honest. Brutally honest, I could not figure out this one for 16 turns. I was like, no way. Okay, Elsharion, first skill to Vigor. Cichlid, third skill to Tanya. Stop Tanya from doing her skill, uh, skill two and skill three buff as well. Suri, second skill to Tanya. That should kill her. Just kidding, doesn't kill her. Well, we do get the two heals, and then we don't get any. We stole the immunity, and it, it, like, it'll, it'll always steal the immunity, because like I said, I tried to do this a few times, and it'll always steal the immunity. It won't ever steal the invincibility, so. I guess that kind of goes against what I was saying before, where it's like, there's RNG involved. I'm like, I don't know if there actually is RNG involved, uh, based on the fact that, like, some of the things would happen the same way every single time, so maybe there isn't RNG involved, and that was just misunderstanding at some point. Anyway, uh, where are we right now? Uh, we gotta do first skill to Tanya, just a little pee pee over there. A little pee pee to, <laughs> a little pee pee over there. El Sharion to Chloe. And we get one of those. Okay, not bad. Uh, Cichlid, first skill to Chloe. So we're gonna go after Chloe next. Suri, third skill to Vigor. This is gonna strip and it's gonna do defense breaks and all kinds of debuffs. Um, then we're gonna go El Sharion to Chloe, get a defense break over there. Then we're gonna go uh, Bake Deuce, second skill to Chloe. We get the brand here. See, this still feels like it's a lot of turns, but this is still better than what, what I was doing uh, before. Suri, second skill to Vigor, okay. And that should, that did not kill, okay. Cichlid, first skill to Vigor. Yeah, I was like healing and stuff too. <laughs> I was like doing all this stuff. Uh, El Shan, first skill to Chloe to finish her off. Suri, first skill to Praha. Uh, and then Cichlid, third skill to Praha. And then we're basically just uh, killing Praha. And then we're gonna do uh, his third skill to... I did this totally wrong when I did this, man. I did this so... It was so... Again, it was like 10 extra turns or something like that. I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this so fast. But uh, yeah, that... There, there we go. Match number 10. This one's fairly straightforward. They're going to do a whole bunch of debuffs. Actually, Rika moves first, so she's going to do the debuffs. If we do not cleanse those immediately, we instantly die. Which is great, which is uh, exactly what we want, right? Okay, so here's the first one. We don't have anything else to cleanse or anything. We have some defense breaks on us now, which is not good. We do have to start going for uh, this one. We'll go for you next, just to make sure that we kill her. We will cleanse this up, and then we will keep going for Beth right here. So we go for Beth some more, we go for Beth some more, we go for Beth even some more. Then we're gonna go for, uh, start to go for Tattoo here. Then we're gonna finish this off with Ariel, because he does like no damage. And then we're just gonna keep going for uh, Tattoo a little bit more. And then we should finish this off with the skill three, I believe. And this should three start for us. Yes, it does three start for us. Match 11, guys, we're gonna use the cheat sheet again. We're gonna use the cheat sheet. There's so much sleep, 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 sleep. There is a super efficient way to play this. And that's what the cheat sheet says. And while we can beat it, I mean, I can beat this easily, but in like 25, 27 <laughs> turns, cannot beat it without the cheat sheet in 21 turns. So let's just go directly off of the, uh, off of the sheet, right? So, uh, first one we have, yeah, hooray. We have the Sonic third skill, Halia third skill to Vela Jewel right after that. I was going actually pretty, pretty much consistently, uh, sales second skill to Vela Jewel. Uh, I was going kind of as this already. So, uh, third skill to enemy team. And then we have, 
the first skill to Randy. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have guessed for the first skill to Randy. Like that, that's just a, just, just an odd thing, right? Second skill to Randy. Okay, uh, and then we have third skill to the enemy team, and we have first skill to Wusa. Cycle a little bit of a turn. Sonnet second skill to the enemy team. Selena first skill to Valajul. And then we have, we shouldn't actually have to, well, I was going to say we shouldn't actually have to hit Velagel after that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wonder why. I wonder why. So we do a defense break to Randy. Uh, first skill to Randy here. Uh, and then we'll do a first skill to Randy there. And then we'll do a Hulia third skill to Wusa. We'll do a Sonnet again to the enemy team. Uh, second skill to Wusa. And then second skill to Gallium. Strips that off. Gives him a defense break. Uh, and the man, it must have been really tricky to actually go through and try this over and over and over and over and over again. But yeah, I think we just go for skill one and skill one there. I would not have gotten that. That's in uh, 19. So that's actually two turns less than we even needed to get that in. So props to... Uh, I'll leave, I'll leave, like, the, uh, the, the, whatever, like, the people that were actually, um, credit for the, the little cheat sheet, but props to them, because I was, like, 25, 27 turns on this, I'm like, I don't know how to do it in 21, I don't even know how to do it in 19, so, uh, all the credit goes to them for that one. Match number 12, this is another tricky one, because basically what you're doing is you're doing a whole bunch of debuffs over here, whole bunch of debuffs, block beneficial effects, and then you're doing cycling, uh, con, with the amount of debuffs on the enemy target, and then he's doing the um, he's doing extra damage for each harmful effect on the enemy. So you have to make sure that you're very deliberate in where you put these harmful effects on. So let's get it started. We're gonna use the uh, the cheat sheet again for this. I'm such a cheater. Uh, so let's uh, just to make sure that we get it perfectly right, right? Because um, like we we beat it before, but we did not beat it in the specific amount of turns that we would have needed. So, uh, he gains third skill to the enemy team. Uh, Nisha third skill to the enemy team after that. Let's get one of these. Strip some of these beneficial effects. See, I was doing it a different way, though. I was uh, doing it a different way. Then we do this. I was doing it similar, though. Like, I was focusing on the, the, uh, the con into the Lucas first, right? Uh, and then we go Xiong Fei into Linda. Give her a defense break. Uh, there we go. Second skill into Linda. This way we give her a stun. But if you do this wrong, it's like it's it's totally good. Like it's it's so easy to mess up in something like this. So uh, he ain't second skill to the enemy team. Uh, skill two to Linda. Cycle some turns, uh, and then we'll do the first skill to Linda. Xiong Fei first skill to Neil. And then we'll go for this into Neil. He ain't first skill into Neil. Now we're just going all into Neil. Third skill into Halfus. So we're gonna do this. This way we can one shot uh, after we do. Now we're gonna body slam Halfus, aren't we? Con second skill. Yeah, con second skill into Halfus is the next one. Third skill. Oh, third skill into Neil. Okay, I was not expecting. See, I would have just gone right into. I think this is actually exactly what I did. Is I did third skill to Halfus. I was like, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. It's gonna be super easy, right? Uh, first skill into Neil over here. This is like such a trial and error thing, though. He gains first skill into Neil, and then we've got a Xiong Fei first skill into Neil to kill her. Uh, Nisha, third skill to the enemy team, which is going to block the beneficial effects. Khan, second skill into another Khan, third, actually Khan, first skill. Not a third skill. There we go. So that's it. Yeah, I, w I, w I was, you know, a lot of us are like, would, would do it similar, but just, there's, a, there's a few things that it's like, makes it even more efficient. That's like, oh, well, if I was played a little bit more efficiently, I would have done this instead of that and won a couple turns easier instead of this unit getting their their cleanse off or whatever 
So there you go. Floor number 13, this one is more straightforward. We have strips, we have attack power buffs, then we have uh, decrease the duration of the bombs. We have attack age reduction for things like Tetra. So this one should be fairly straightforward. There's a couple little nuances here and there to make it a little bit easier to, uh, to complete in the amount of turns required. But for the most part, it's fairly straightforward. So let's go. We got the, fir the this one, and then we're going to proc into a second skill, which is going to attack power buff us. Now we have to worry about the, uh, and then we're definitely going to bomb here. We have to worry about the crit buffs, though, on the Camila, though. That's the thing. So we're going to do one of these into you. Decrease her attack age so she can't cleanse those. And then we're going to do one of these into you. This way we have the uh, decreased duration on that and I think we're going to do a decent amount with that bomb we did do a decent amount with the bomb but we did not completely uh... now we got the crit buff on here we didn't get the crit nice okay so now we have to do the uh... second skill into here decrease attack age and do all these dots and then we are pretty much set we just do one of these and then we do one of these super easy like this one was more straightforward though Full honest disclosure again, I think I beat this one the first time in like 417 turns. It was not fast, we're gonna go directly from the sheet on this one. Not gonna do a 400 turn. Alright, so uh, Prelia, a third skill into a Chamomile. Definitely not how- I think I started going for Josephine at the beginning. So we're gonna get this buff now as well, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna strip with this uh, after that. Yep, third, uh, second skill to enemy team. There we go, Gang Chun, second skill into Veramos. is gonna freeze, there we go. Then we're gonna do, I think I messed this one up too. Is her, she, she's got, since this is full HP, and this is full HP, um, I think I used this second skill first, which is actually, actually, wait a second, it is the, it is the right one. I think maybe I just used it on the wrong target, right? And then we got this one again. And then we'll do the third skill into Veramal. So I actually did do that right on my side. I think I just had the wrong, you know, I think I just had the wrong targets. I was going for like Josephine first was my issue, right? So uh, then we go into the Wang. And then we go uh, first skill into the Wang. Gotta snipe that Wang, gets a nice defense break. <laughs> Hate it when my Wang gets defense broken, right? Uh, there we go. Uh, third skill into Mayha. Well, yeah, this is definitely... I was, I was targeting the Josephine first. That was my problem. That was my problem. Alright, so then we just do one of these. We do uh, one of these. Triple non-crit. And then we do skill two over here into a Josephine. And then we do skill three. Uh, again, since it never actually went on cooldown. Even though it doesn't really do that much damage. So yeah, I was definitely just, I was doing similar, but just going after the Josephine first on here. And that was the problem. Match number 15, this one is kind of an interesting battle. We have two of these new high elementals, the new second awakened high elementals. Uh, she has invincibility for two turns now on skill three, which is really nice when we kill these dragons because they have the last curse passive, which means that they're going to do damage to units that kill them. So if she has invincibility, she's not going to take that damage. These guys have very, very fast base speed, and they also have two different uh, skills that buff. This is going to be nice against the Magnum, which has, he's got a strip, but he also has extra attack gauge. He gets uh, attack gauge whenever any of the enemies gain beneficial effects. So there's going to be a lot of beneficial effects, granted, uh, which turn cycles him quite a nice amount. And he's going to be able to strip. He's got a skill too. Uh, strip on there. So we're gonna go according to the book on this one But just that's the that's kind of the game plan for this one because there's so many passives coming into play So many passives everything's got a passive maybe not everything actually only half the units here have passives So disregard everything that I just said about passives Now he's got 122 base speed so he's gonna move next and he's gonna buff he cuts in because he gets the extra attack age We're going to do one of these and then we're going to snipe out I'm getting ahead of myself, man. We're going to snipe out one of these guys with that. So, according to the, uh, according to the book, <laughs> the book, um, according to what it says here, we got to go for the right dragon. I'm not sure entirely why we're going for the right one, though, but it says to go for the right one. So, I'm sure they've done the calculations as to why we're supposed to be doing 
the right ones and now we have to go for the middle one here i'm not entirely again i'm not entirely sure why we're going for those specifically but uh we're going for those specifically so now we have those dots so those dots should actually kill and then we don't have to worry about that so we're going for magnum first skill to the left dragon i'm just making sure that i give you guys the correct uh correct stuff uh kali first skill to the middle dragon which is going to do a dot but that's not gonna be able to kill that dot right so now we're gonna do the uh third skill over here and then we're gonna do shren's first skill into this one and then we're gonna go over here i guarantee we're gonna do this to the camelies yes we're gonna do this to the camelies decrease the uh not, not decrease strip the uh strip everything on the camelies so we're gonna finish this camelies off right there and then we're gonna go uh, second skill to. So this is weird. It says, "Oh no, never mind. I read that wrong." <laughs> it's like, why are we gonna do something that's already dead? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? And then we'll do uh, one of these. There we go. So 15, 16, cheating again. I know you're gonna dislike the video. I don't care. I would rather show you guys the correct way than my wacky way of like, "Hey guys, this happened to barely work." Like, no, we're gonna cheat again. We're gonna use the. We're gonna use the uh, the book. The, not the book, the sheet. The sheet. We're going to use the sheet. So I was going for, I tried going for Leica first. I tried, go, like the first time I did this, I tried going for Leica first. I tried going for the Grago first. I was like, we got all these multi hits. Let me do one of these. This is a sound. So we're going to do the silence over here. First is the best way to do it. We're going to do one of these. Um, and then we're going to do one of these two. Leica. Leica loves to just like obliterate this Mav though. If you don't do that, Leica likes to obliterate the Mav, which is uh, kind of scary. Poor Mav has like no HP, right? So, uh, and then we're gonna go this uh, first skill over here. Uh, and then we're going to go for this third skill to Laika. And does so many multi hits and he's so squishy that it just completely obliterates him, right? So uh, we go to uh, Maggie now, good old Maggie. And then we're going to go for... Actually, we're not going to go for that. That is... That's my first instinct, is any time he has this winds of, uh, Wings of Wind, is to just do it, right? So, uh, skill one, onto there. We're going to go skill two, onto here as well. Then we're going to go third skill, onto the Grago, which should kill him. Uh, and then we're going to go for a... Uh, first skill to Maggie. Really? I would have gone for a See, this is this is the... I, I just want to use skill threes whenever they're available, right? Uh, Mav, third skill to team. Third skill to Maggie. Gets another one. Okay, and she never gets it on cooldown. Man, we don't use Stella enough, do we? We really don't. Uh, first skill to Celia. Or Cilia, rather. Uh, first skill to Cilia. And then third skill to Silly to make sure we do as much damage as possible. And we get all these crits, actually. So, yeah, I was playing this a totally, totally, totally different way. I was like, anytime they have their third skills, I'm like, let's third skills. Let's third skills, third skills, third skills. But we really don't need to if Stella just always has her third skill available if you use it uh, efficiently. Match number 17. This one, at first glance, seems really easy. You're like, okay, I'm going to defense break. Defense break, defense buff, then I'm going to come in and nuke things, then I'm going to cycle some more turns and nuke some more things, right? And then you realize when you get into the actual match, you're like, the turn order is not most conducive to what you want to do, right? So actually, the toughest part about this match is the first turn. That is literally the toughest part because you want to do something with recruit. Like the first thing you want to do is like, okay, I'm going to do skill two onto Talc. That's not what you're supposed to do. Right? Because if you skill 2 on Talc, then he's going to defense buff. Then Gemini is not going to strip this stuff. So the first, you have to stop yourself and say, first, first turn, I'm going to not do that second skill. That's, and that's going to actually passively increase the Talc's uh, attack gauge, giving him the correct turn order. So that is the hardest part about this entire match, is that then we're going to nuke this uh, Ritesh, because Ritesh was buffed and he's going to be super OP. He's going to mess up your team if we don't do that right now now copper doesn't do any damage now right 
So we're going to go again. We're going to give another turn to this guy because we want him to nuke as much. He's our, he's our nuker, right? So we want to nuke as much as possible with him. Then we're just going to do some fluff damage, some fluff damage, some more fluff damage. We're going to do nothing until we get some more turns to uh, utilize copper. Utilize copper. Utilize copper skill three. I'm going to sound like childish plays now. Uh, we've got to make sure we utilize copper skill three as much as possible. You know, I, I cycle his skill three as much as possible. You know what I mean? And then we're going to strip that defense buff. I know he's got a defense buff. We're going to strip that off in a second right over here. And then we're going to do another defense buff over here. See, we got to make sure that we strip and then defense buff afterwards. So the turn order is very important. Then we're going to resurge into, well, it's not resurge, but we're going to give another turn to copper again. And then we're going to skill three nuke on the Olivia. And that is, it's just about having the correct turn order for this one. So uh, 18 turns, not bad. So this one is very straightforward. It's super easy to do this within like 20 turns or so. We're just trying to stack the Bulwark as much as possible with Amelia and with Dusky. We're doing HP-based damage with uh, Bulwark. We're doing HP-based damage with Mo Long. We're trying to stop ourselves from taking too much. We have shields and stuff, so... Uh, so it should be fine, but we're trying to stop ourselves from taking too much damage from these and also trying to maximize the amount of enemy buffs uh, on their team. I was initially going after Feng Yan at first because I'm like, oh, Feng Yan's going to start wrecking some of our units, going to give us def uh, defensive breaks and things like that. And then I'm like, wait a second, Feng Yan is actually helping the Bulwark stack, and that's what we need to uh, to beat this faster. We're going uh, off the paper, by the way, for this one because there is a, again, it's super easy to do like 20 turns for this. But there is a more efficient way to like just shave like two turns off and actually get it in. I believe it's 18 turns. I believe it's 18 turns. So let's uh, do one of these. Let's do one of these. But you have to go for Rena first here, right? So he does some damage to the uh, Mo Long. We actually, and here's one of the mistakes that I was making. We actually have to start hitting Feng Yen here. This is a mistake that I was making, which was causing it to like not be very efficient. But we have to hit Feng Yen there and then we do the third skill into the Feng Yan as well. This is not going to increase his passive because he's not actually getting hit hit here, right? Uh, so then we do Mo Long's first skill into Arnold here. We do uh, Amelia again for here. We're not going to do Amelia's skill two just yet. He's going to, Mo Long's going to take some damage. He's going to take some damage, but we are not going to do it just yet. We do uh, this into Arnold. We do Bulwark into uh, Arnold as well to steal one more buff. Then we have this here is where we're going to do the second skill. Uh, we're going to go Mo Long first skill into Arnold again. We're going to do Dusky. Look, at he's barely hanging on. He's barely hanging on by a thread. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, Bulwark into Feng Yan. We're going to heal that Mo Long up. Uh, well, not heal the Mo Long up. We're going to we're going to do uh, skill one over there. Then we're going to finish off two of these units with the skill three Dragon's Dance. And then this actually, as much as you think that this won't, but all these buffs um, and the shield as well and the crit buff and the, the, the speed buff is actually going to finish off that Belial. He's got such little HP. So that's actually the way. And that's, again, that's not a thing that I would have thought of myself is to like start hitting the Feng Yen first. Like I figured out all like already that like okay leave the feng yan in because he's helping us uh to to buff but just like those extra little hits into feng yan and then not doing the amelia for like leaving off on the amelia skill two for like an extra turn uh while she has it but just not using it and just like uh, freezing the arnold it's just some of those efficiency things that i would not have thought of at first Match number 19, fairly straightforward. We have some attack age reduction with her. We have some attack age reduction and stuns with her. We have some stuns with him. We've got Oblivion here, and we have three units that have passives over here as well. Well, actually, Skogel's a passive as well, now that I think about it. So we have four units with passives. So it's super easy to do it around, like, the 20, uh, 20 turns or more, 20, 21, 22, 23, whatever. But getting to below 19, there is a more efficient way, so we're going to go based on the uh, documentation as well for that one. This way we have no issues, no worries. He's so fast, he gets the rock up before anything else happens. So we'll do this one. We will do a second skill to Vertiheal over here. We will do a second skill to Huad. See, this is not what I was, I was not doing second skill to Huad right? We'll do a surprise visit to Huad over there. There we go. We will do a first skill to Vertiheal, so this should do enough that the dots just wind up killing. So we, that does so much damage, though. That's the issue. 
is that does so much damage. Uh, let's do, it's really dangerous to have that rock, like, at all do anything, right? So uh, let's go to Sarion's first skill over there. But we don't necessarily have to have these units uh, actually kill things. So let's do a defense break and a slow on to Amon. Let's do a second skill over here. That should do a lot of damage, but not necessarily kill the Amon over there. Uh, let's do a first skill over here. Uh, let's do a Tessarion over here. Let's do a Skoogle hit over here. I mean, it's kind of... It's similar, basically, to what I was doing before, but it's not quite in the same... Um, it's not quite in the same order, right? The same turn order. So it's just a more efficient way to do the turn order. Let's do a defense break on here, because he's going to take that first defense break off anyway. And then we'll do one of... Uh, actually, we'll do one of these. That's what it says. Do one of these. And then we'll do the second skill onto Skogel. And we can beat it in... Several turns less than we actually needed to, right? Several turns less. So again, it's super easy to do in like 20, 21, 22, but getting it in 17 turns is a little bit trickier and it takes a specific uh, turn order. Match number 20, I was trying to find a secondary way to do this aside from what's in the documentation. I'm sure there actually is a secondary way to do this. However, there is a more efficient way, and that is the one in the documentation. So we're going to show... The, I always feel like it's such a bummer that there is, like, just the way that there is one way to do things. In 2021, there's one way to do things in Summoner's War, and that's that. So uh, this one, we actually have to go for this into Hemos, the actual the defense break, because we're going to do a little bit of extra damage into... Uh, into that so then we're gonna go for one of these we're gonna do those and then we're gonna go for he gets some extra ones of these we're gonna go for this into there and then he's gonna take his own damage basically and then we're gonna do a little bit of extra damage here and then they do we have to clear this in seven turns it's kind of hard to clear this in seven turns without uh having anything crazy happen but yeah there we go and there we go seven turns gg there you go, guys. All 20 floors of the battle training ground. Some of them were just me winging it, and some of them were due to the hard work and effort of the people that are on the screen right now. Bagel in the future put a list of all the people that this list was, that the uh, documentation was compiled by right now. So most of the credit for a lot of these stages, especially the later ones, go towards uh, those people that names are on the screen right now, so I don't want to take credit for their work. I mean, I did wing some of them, but also some of them were like, we. I tried to make sure that we were like, these ones are definitely, we're looking at the documentation for these, and there was a decent amount of those anyway. So let's do our 20 scrolls. I didn't get anything from these scrolls on the, uh, on the other account, so I don't think we'll do... Oh, we got actually some lightning here. Hey, we got a fire sniper, okay. I'm starting to worry that like, there was no lightning from these scrolls. Like, there's special mystical scrolls that get no lightning, but I guess it was just, uh, you know, it's just RNG is RNG. But anyway, I wish that there was more than one way to three-star some of these. Unfortunately, that's what they've been doing in 2021, where it's just the specific, w the specific few ways that you have to beat some of this content, like TOA Hell and, like, some of the, like... Um, the cauldron rune farming dungeon there's like only a couple different ways to actually beat it uh, mostly TOA hell things like that but I really wish that there was more different creative that's one of the things that made Summoner's War so great in the beginning there were all these different creative teams that people could come up with to beat some of this content and to have these things like oh you can three start but you gotta do it a specific specific way and it's like that's kind of a bummer <laughs> that's kind of a bummer right because then you're just everyone's copying the for whoever was the first person to figure it out right so anyway we did get a few lightnings that's not bad uh mostly it's just nice to have all those crystals hope you guys enjoyed it again all credit to the people or uh, much of the credit to the people who are on the screen right now the people whose names are on the screen right now that's for this one hope you guys enjoyed it. i will see you as always in the next one